There are times when people come together to have deep conversations that are solely focused on sharing ideas and thoughts concerning how they plan to make their future even better. These resolutions help people create hope for challenging the many obstacles they will have to face in the future. And after finding ourselves in home confinement, people have learned how important physical and mental freedom really is. This is exactly the time when we should take a moment to look around and think about those who couldn't make it here with us today and those who are still fighting to remain among us. This is when we realize that it's often hard to get people we interact with, especially those we deeply care about and those who we are responsible for, to admit that we are indeed the lucky ones. Let's find out why we are lucky. And welcome to Four C's One Family. Many of us are willing to invest time discussing how we plan to further our education and improve our physical appearance or financial situation. However, with so many conflicting beliefs, doctrines, and political views competing for our attention, filtering out what is accurate, factual, or made up becomes problematic. Still, getting those who we are concerned about to understand that we still have walls to break through and gaps of all types to cross makes it hard to admit to ourselves that it may be impossible to get them to think from another point of view. We don't want to get caught up or tangled in situations we can't untie ourselves from, because most of us don't have a guardian angel to guide us through the landmines placed intentionally and unintentionally before us. We also have to face the fact that some barriers placed before us weren't placed there by our competitors or enemies. Some were placed there by those we care about, and sometimes even ourselves. Both traditional and alternative media networks use their influencers and pundits to keep us in deep holes made from ignorance. This was easy for them to accomplish because many of us haven't acquired the critical thinking skills to analyze or question outdated manufactured doctrines or build up enough nerves to refuse to take part in actions led by persuasive personalities we respect or fear who frankly may prefer that we become martyrs for a cause we may have an emotional tie to but not completely understand or even profoundly believe. Radical, fundamental, political, and woke ideologies are invoked and reinforced by education systems that force students to study courses or subjects they aren't interested in or don't have the natural ability or will to comprehend. Many institutions considered foundations of higher learning are highly motivated to follow and promote selected ideologies that help them build prestige and achieve their political goals while increasing their endowments. It has also been discovered that some educational institutions have been taken over or remotely controlled by fundamental organizations or foreign entities. Sadly, well-informed people are afraid to speak their minds because they don't want to be added to the list of the canceled ones. They have forced themselves to remain silent or painfully bite their tongues because they fear someone may be watching them. People who live in nations that give their citizens the right to question their leaders and governments must protect their privileges before they are taken away by those willing to sacrifice others for rights they feel only they deserve to inherit. I hope we can recognize and resolve unsettling situations before it's too late because our time is running out. Don't allow our favorable resolutions to fade away. Before we continue with our day, please allow me to ask you a few questions. How dedicated are you and others around you to their resolutions? What is the best way to get someone to follow their resolutions? And what do you think is the best way to get a population to make favorable resolutions and adhere to them collectively? If you have found what we have to offer of any value, 
please click on the subscribe and bell buttons below to keep up to date with our current episodes. And if you're listening to our podcast, please subscribe and help us spread the word that we have much more in common than we think. We're very interested to hear what you have to say. For Four Seas One Family, I'm James Thomas in Taipei, Taiwan. And remember to stay strong, safe, and healthy wherever you are in the world.